Well, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is Obama certainly knows how to, shall we say, get a rise in people. And it has nothing to do with, oh yes, if you would like to stay in your home, we can convert it so you can rent it. And then when you can afford it later, you can then buy it. Wait, what? And who was paying for this? I think it got universally panned. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And Obama plans to turn homes people are not paying for into rental homes for them until they can start paying for them. But there's no thing, there's no timetable for them to start paying for them. There's also no timetable for them to pay while renting. Uh, and he's going to do, here's the trick is, that if you aren't paying for your home, he's going to refinance the loans with, uh, uh, to get them off of the government's books and he's going to charge banks a fee, which they have already said can be passed on to the customer. So, meaning you're not only going to be paying for your home, you're going to be paying for the guy down the street that doesn't have to pay for his home, which basically got an overwhelming universal uh, FU to the president with that plan, folks. Mm -hmm. A 19-year-old Utah student suffers seizures and dies at ski resort. I know that was right after. Um, this was, that was right after. The, that was the day that we left. Oh, really? Somebody. Uh, they said it was a person from Southern. Uh, they said it was a person that basically uh, was from Southern California. There was a student there that was not used to the higher altitudes because we know it was a Tracy Morgan or something got yeah. hit the same way. We got too excited <laughs> out there at the high altitude. People don't realize. Park City is a, is, a, is a ski resort right up to the back of the street, folks. That's a uh, Yeah, you, you know what? You kind of forget that it's up so high. Because even like when you're baking, I know you're going, what? How does that have to do anything? They have different instructions yeah. for higher altitudes. So imagine how it affects people um, that are there. Because I know like when you fly, the alcohol affects you um, faster when you're flying. That's right because you're at a higher altitude. It does something, it's called compression. Mm. And growing python population wiping out Everglades mammals. I know, they need to go in and clean out the pythons and they're refusing to do it. I mean, I would think it's a no-brainer. You send, the, you send the, the hunters in and they clean them out because um, that is... There are people, they use the python for, um, well, they use the, the skin. Yeah. I don't know if they use python meat. Well, yeah, they, the whole thing basically, but they're going to have to go in and clean out those things. What happened was people were tossing their python, they really were tossing them down the drains, folks. The problem is a python swims and basically it went down, the little ones went down the drains in the sewage system and then guess where it came out in the Everglades. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's why... That they, one's not just a... No, because it's that type of weather. <laughs> Pythons can swim, and they can hold their breath for long periods of time. So they basically, by the time that they flush the little one down, he'd be out into the system, because a lot of the systems are not really cleaned up in, like they said, well, you know, what they go through the sewage plant. Oh, that's called famous last words. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that's why we get so much sewage out in the ocean on the beaches in California because it didn't quite make it to the sewage facility. Mm -hmm. An Illinois nuclear reactor loses power at venting steam. I know, that's never a good sign, is it? Guess what state it's in, though? What? It's in Obama's home state. Um, and examining the GOP's most likely vice presidential candidates. It will probably be uh, Rubio, but the problem is Rubio, I don't think, Rubio and Christie will not run with Romney because it's a losing proposition. I mean, this clown this morning, you know, I don't really, I'm not really interested in, in, the, in the very poor. I'm what? more interested in the people that need jobs. He basically just Who in the world said that oh, one? Romney. They said basically he just committed suicide this morning. I mean, Ouch. you don't think that Ron Paul, Santorum, and Genrich didn't jump all over that? Uh, yeah, that one jumped. And the press is just crucified. I'm not really interested in the, in the poor. Mm. It means he's a rich man. Okay, I want to tell you people again that if Romney didn't get one single delegate, Romney would be the Republican nominee because he's one of us. Oh, and yeah. those other guys, they're not one of us. Well, see, at least when Obama ran, okay, he at least 
tried to appear like he cared about the poor people. Romney doesn't give a damn. Romney, Ro does Romney not, doesn't care. I mean, uh, I would bet that, uh, I mean, no, I, you know, that Romney doesn't even, Romney's probably never even met a poor person. Mm. What is, he, this guy's been rich since the day he was born. You do not elect people like that to office in this country anymore. I mean, John Kennedy was super wealthy, but he was, a, he basically was a military officer. He wore Richard Nixon, worked. All the wealthy people in our country became president, worked for a living, not Mitt Romney. Romney is a venture capitalist. He took his father's money and made more money. And man who attacked the police with lightsabers goes to jail. That one are going to have a hard time in a courtroom. <laughs> He's got a lightsaber. It's a toy. They know it's a toy. And they're, well, we were scared. When we shot him 170 times, we thought that that, that lightsaber may actually be real. No. Come on, those are... <laughs> they, they don't know the difference. Okay. Co how, co come on. How do you know a Democrat from a Republican? Wow. Democrats don't know reality from unreality. They think that, they actually think that cowboys walk around the West with six shooters fighting Indians. Well, there are some people that still think George Bush is president. Oh, God, the most of the movie community does. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, last night it did dawn on me. The, 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 the kids in Sundance were right about the nationalization of the industry. You know why? Why? Because if... If the President Obama and the Democrats get their way, there'll be no more wealthy people anymore in the country. Who is going to fund motion pictures and television series and shows and movies and theatrical productions? There'll be nobody to fund them anymore. Uh, Who will have to fund them? The government. The government. The kids were not as stupid as I thought they were. Mm -hmm. Of course, most of the people, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, tempted to put that up on my side, <laughs> which is basically, I'm sort of like, uh, my side of Facebook is sort of like, um, you know, uh, and a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. I mean, I, my, I'm nothing but liberal Democrats over on my side. There's no, there's maybe one Republican over on my side. That's it, out of all the people I have. So. Well, at least you have one. I have no idea. I have a feeling most of mine are all Democrats, too, because it's the entertainment community. Well, I come from an era when most of the people were Republicans. Mm -hmm. What happened is the people my age, they stepped back and let the other people take over. Okay, we're going to figure out this way. My people did not like the McCarthy hearings any more than anyone else because there were people, uh, okay, there were people like Larry Parks that basically had nothing to do. I mean, Lucille Ball, certainly she would have. Her father was a socialist. She joined all the things because her father joined. Larry Parks joined because Larry Parks, the actor, wanted to get jobs in the industry on Broadway. So people joined in order to get jobs. And because of that, they become, we're going to over, there are people like, there were people that basically were major TV stars that really wanted to overthrow this country. And so, Joe Biden advised against the Osama bin Laden raid. Because, first of all, he knew what they were going to do, which is probably dump a body out in the ocean and claim it was bin Laden. Okay, oh. I'm going to simply put it this way, folks. The president can claim to hell freezes over that he killed bin Laden. I didn't see anybody. I didn't see the. I didn't see his family say it was him. I saw nothing but the president of the United States get up on a stage and said, "We got Bin Laden," uh, and we know this president will tell you what you want to hear. He said, "If you if you want to believe that Bin Laden is dead, then you believe it because Bin Laden." It hasn't stopped the tax on the United States, mm -hmm. and they've now revised it well. Even though they're no longer as powerful, we still have a, a major enemy in Al-Qaeda, which basically, I thought it disappeared when Bin Laden died. And Whole House closes doors after more than 120 years. Guess what state that's from? No, what? Illinois! Oh, really? It's a major charitable organization that has basically been wiped out by, guess which administration? I know. Their own son. Yeah. <coughs> well, because the people are not making the donations they used to because people are terrified of this man. Well, I love this morning. They said, the Wall Street is totally against Obama unless Romney pushes the wrong button and they'll all follow Obama's lead. Mm -hmm. Which means they're gonna, it's called, what de most of the people on Wall Street are not Republicans, they're Democrats. And Democrats are famous for forming a circle and shooting one another. That's what they will do if they support Obama. And a 
Monty bubble as in from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, I always change the things because I forget what I'm doing, but uh, okay, that if you let a fool tell you what to do, who is the bigger fool? 